Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, you know, thank you for the love and support. Being able to resonate with the videos relating on so many different levels is straight a blessing to me. Knowing that we all, you know, have our daily struggles, but trying to heal and go on through the you know the healing process towards this journey we have of self-discovery so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while now and have not already please like and subscribe even hit the notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and uh if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving me. It's greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to res uh, resonate with the content of my video. And today, my beautiful music, y'all is giving me... um. It's like it shows different candles and stuff like that, but Buddha's on the side. And every time I see a Buddha image, I get so, oh yeah, and it's 11 11. Oops, my bad. Let me show you. 11 11. So I'm making my little blessings right there. Um, I was, I'm having a euphoric feeling through this meditation. It feels like, you know, I'm walking on clouds and I feel so much comfort and love coming towards me. So if you feel something different where it feels like you're, you're like floating or you get a euphoric, you know, a high feeling. It's a natural high. I don't be doing anything to stimulate. We don't use any kind of stimulants. Um, but if you feel that, that's what it is from that video. It's very intense and very powerful that we need to have in our lives, you know. Um, but it, it's called Three Hours of Deep Meditation Music. Get rid of anxiety, stress, and depression. Ricky Zen Meditation Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. Man, it is really helping me too. I needed that one in my life today. Okay, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. New moon symptoms are no joke. Time to reflect. Oh, Jesus. It's like when I woke up this morning, you know, I had very confused emotions. Like, I've really been going through it for the last two days. I was about to do videos yesterday, but it was like my body wouldn't allow me to do it. You know, I, I've been having headaches lately, like really bad. My skin has been really sensitive, you know, like you see these, I, I got a rash going up down my arm and it feels like they burn so it's like my skin is so sensitive so if you've been dealing with like rashes or your sense skin's really sensitive I, my skin's not really sensitive like I can use soap different kind of flavor soap you know scented soap like I always use uh soft soap or soft scrub or whatever it's called that you get at the dollar store <laughs> I can use that but I never was able to use ivory or uh what is that ivory or dove um, cause my skin was so sensitive towards that. And that's crazy because those are sens for, made for a sensitive skin, but I could never deal with it. But it's like going through these different symptoms, they have you reflecting on so much. Like I was watching my video, uh, this morning about, uh, when darkness tries, love always wins. And I just burst it out into tears and it had me feeling like sadness, uh, excitement, gratitude, um, just being able to release a lot of stuff so it just had me very confused like the emotional roller coaster was off the chain so it's just like do my meditation right before I start doing videos I just started crying to you know Gaia uh, send it masters and just telling them thank you you know um, for a lot of things and it, it is just like I don't know why I was telling them thank you for but you know I well I did but it wasn't like I was pinpointing on what exactly I was being grateful for. I just said I was grateful for everything. Everything that I tend to feel, whether it's sadness, uh, anxiety, depression, um, irritability, uh, joy, happiness, 
gratitude. I, I was grateful for all of that because I know we have to all go through these di different experiences. My my dreams has been off the wall crazy, <laughs> off the wall crazy. So, you know, if you've been going through these things where it makes you feel like you're not you, that's, I mean, it's just like you, you feel like you're in a, you know, uh, your basically your life feels like it's a dream that you're going through. I guess I, I was on the 5D so uh 5d levels so it's really been crazy for me to have to be able to reflect through all these situations that we're going through uh low frequency high frequency my third eye has been like so agape it, it's been making my head hurt like I, I feel like you know my head's about to explode but i'm downloading so much information at one time you know i really like i said yesterday i really want to do videos but with me being like that you know with I mean, it made me feel like I was foggy because I was getting so much downloads at one time and, you know, with it all pulsating and it felt like my forehead was so, you know, swollen. I just didn't want to give that energy off to anybody, even though it was like a joyful feeling, but it was painful at the same time. It's like, uh, like if you ever had surgery before and you're like waking up, but they, they got you doped up and stuff like that. That's what it felt like you know not the pain well the pain yes from my forehead but you know all the fogginess and grogginess i just didn't want to give that type of vibe out to anybody because we're all going through it it, it just seems like so many of the shifts that we have been experiencing from the retrograde uh from the spring equinox uh from the full moon that we had last time and then it was like the crescent one was the other day was I think it was Monday, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember, it was like the crescent moon that, that was going to shadow off of us, where uh, different vibes was coming up, you know, when it tells you the, the rest, you know, even though I push myself at times, but I asked the universe, can I please rest, you know, I, I want to do videos, but it's just like, I woke up that morning, ate, and then went out for a nature walk that morning, but I thought it was going to rain, so it was just like my body started feeling different. But it didn't end up raining. It was just really cloudy. But then I did like an hour of exercising. But then all of a sudden my body hurt like it felt like I was hit by a Mack truck. Doing a one-on-one. -on -one, and that just drained me to the fullest. You know, helping somebody out. So I was just like, you know what? Go ahead and rest. You know, universal understand. <laughs> the people that love me, that support me on my channel, they'll understand. That's why I sent y'all like a really quick... Uh, message saying hey you know i'm gonna go ahead and rest it up because it, it was like the new moon symptoms has really been kicking my butt to where you know i felt nauseated from the headaches and the downloads i was getting to where i felt like i wasn't really here so you know if you're going through that give yourself time to reflect on everything that's been going on in your life uh, the daily struggles that you deal with the past trauma that you have experienced throughout the months probably even years you know, giving yourself that time to be able to reflect on them and release them at the same time. And I really feel that way. But it's just like so much. It's been irritating because I'll tell y'all one day I'm, a, a, you know, I'm good and I released a lot next thing you know. But I guess it's just like the past vomit. Like I told y'all, it's just like that burp. <laughs> y'all get you know when you burp and then it's like it'll either make your, your nose burn or something will come back up and you're like Ugh. you know it that's what that past uh you know but it's just like allowing you to release it out in layers it's like peeling back an onion um being able to deal with that and reflect off of the things you went through the people you you are you have recently cut yourself off from um healing do all the things that's been popping up in your life or if you're dealing with karmatic situations, it's having you step back and look at things in a different perspective, getting the bigger picture out of it. Um, and basically just reflect off of those things that are going on. You know, that new moon is for tonight. So, you know, reflect on the things that you need to reflect on. Whatever you're trying to get rid of in your life, write it down and burn it. That's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so whatever you're in your life and you're asking the universe to help you with overcoming, um, write it on a piece of paper. Uh, give it to Mother Earth, you know, universe, Gaia, the creator. Um universe God and you know do all that and just write it down and reflect and burn so you can get rid of this because it's like a new chapter is trying to you know reveal itself to you but with these you're still holding on to things and I have to tell myself that too with you still holding on to painful scenarios it's like 
you need to, you know, reflect on those things and let them go. I don't want to get into that one because I wrote that down for me to start on another content. But allow yourself to be able to reflect on those things and release them. You know, it's always a struggle to let go of things. It really has pain, you know, put pain in your heart uh, to have you where you uh, put walls up how you look at life and people in general you know we got a lot of people out there that are really bad that you know brought some havoc to your life but you should not allow them to have that power over you you know especially if you release them out of your life allow that to go ahead and flow towards you because if they're no longer in your life they can't they can't affect you like that if you know you put a stop and a hope towards those things even if it has to be family members allow that to be released you know if you're ready to start this new chapter in your life you have to allow yourself to release that and be you know comfort you know you, you you've been through a lot you know i tell myself that you have been through hell and back hell and back to where you got fre frequent flyer miles on spiritual awakenings i know you're tired of stamping that daggone uh passport to your spiritual awakenings so, you know, if you want to stop having these spiritual awakenings, the dark night of the soul, you have to allow the pain that, you know, you have endured for so long to be able to release so you can be able to open that door of beautiful possibilities or trying so desperately to come into your life. You know, I feel like, you know, there's things that wants to come into your life and I, I'm, I'm dealing with that too, but you have to be able to let the other things go. For you to be able to do that you know if you have your hands full of sorrow trauma upset anger you know when all these beautiful things are trying to come into your life your hands are so full with the the old stuff you ain't gonna be able to pick up the new stuff so you have to be able to drop that mess down like you know like when you got a whole bunch of books in your hand and you know but yet yet there's like a like a, a cart is coming over that's trying to help you get along your way you know, they're like, hey, you can drop that stuff. You know, if you're carrying up, you know, you're trying to go up the hill of happiness, but it seems heavy to you because you're, that's a good scenario. I don't want to use the cart one. But when you're trying to head towards a, you know, your, your blessings are all the way at the top of that mountain. And all you got to do is just walk up. But if you're holding bags of hate, resentment, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda, uh, trying to change your past, it's going to be hard as heck going up that hill when all you got to do is just like universe is telling you drop those bags. It'll be so much easier when you drop those bags and try to ascend. You know, we, we got something up here for you, but if you, it's going to be hard for you to try to carry, you know, go up there and all you got to do is release those bags of, you know, that excess baggage you really don't need in your life anymore. Those bags have taught you a lot of things. The lessons that it's brought to the pain, the purpose behind the things that you have experienced. You know, those are the things that taught you strength, power, self-love, self-respect, self-endurance, self-worth. You know, allow those things to be that that teaching, that that lesson that you have. So, you know, you 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 need to part your ways with love with that, and allow yourself to be able to walk up that hill to put your flag up and say, "Hey, I conquered this, and I left the other BS alone." So allow yourself to do that because we we all need that that joy and happiness in our life. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. You know the new moon's coming up tonight, so allow yourself to release, relate, and let's go and move on. And my post notification shout out goes to New Orleans Gardener. Um, if you need anything, any kind of information you need to put on, like if you have a garden, Miss Linda is definitely the one to go to. That woman has such a beautiful garden. She plants all her own vegetables and flowers and stuff like that. So please stop by her channel and let her know I uh, uh, referred you over there. It's New, or New Orleans Gardener. Uh, and I will post her link in the description box below. And Ovid Allen, much love to you as well. And I'll see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Much love, peace, and be wild.